This was just a series of images on a transvaginal probe, so a high resolution transducer on a routine gynae study. So prior to a pel proper pelvic floor study, but the woman during the gynae study reported a large lump felt in the vaginal area only when standing. So at rest, uh, we can see the urethra vertically positioned. So obviously it doesn't show up very well because the beam is parallel with the uh, urethra. Um, here's the rectal ampulla. You can see the vagina here. And then if I move through to a strain image, you can see pubic symphysis. Um, the urethra looks like it's opening up. There's a small bulge in the anterior rectal wall. Uh, you can see anorectal angle here. But if we move now to this cine loop, just because it's a five second video, I've included it. You can see the reference line here, small bulge in the anterior rectum. And right at the last few seconds of her push, you see a tiny little bit of funneling into that uh, internal urethral meatus. So I'll play it again. There's a little bit of funneling. And at the moment, um, it looks like there's no cystocele. But then to explain this lump, when she was standing, we stood the patient up and now you can see pubic symphysis here, urethra has rotated and a very large uh, cystocele, which was not seen when the woman was laying down. So even though it's not using the 4D probe, we've got fairly good diagnostic accuracy that you know we've explained what her lump is. Probably there's a rectocele as well if we do a formal pelvic floor study on a 4D probe.